Hey there friends, welcome to episode 3 of my Crestorio and Space Exploration combo playthrough. I'm Icon and let's have a look here. I got some power and today I plan on uh, doing some smeltering. So to achieve that we have to uh, build a lot of things though. I didn't uh, hold my promise, I didn't uh, pre-craft those miners. But uh, who, who actually really did, uh, did expect that from me? I, I certainly didn't. Anyways, um, jokes aside, things are looking quite good so far. Um, as soon as the first miners are being set up, I'm going to um, create a few more items here. So now, let's see. I don't need this uh, amount of uh, production here anymore in terms of science. What's way more important for me right now at this point are uh, is uh, the... Um, motor production like uh, this is definitely uh, killing me you know so let's say we're going to drop in half of our copper plates uh, well, I'm not used to uh, this uh, kind of gameplay where I have to uh, work around with these machines that much okay so we're going to use gear wheels copper cables and motors and electric motors okay i see so um yeah i'll just uh fetch a few of those materials and uh drop them into the machines in between because i feel like that's uh going to help me the most so here we are in the meantime i just hope that a few of those um miners are going to be finished Yes, they are. Okay, so uh, tons of coal, uh, tons of stone in my inventory now. And uh, the first few miners are now completed. So I will do a rather small installation I have uh, decided for myself. Because uh, the real problem here is that we're never going to be able to uh, whip up enough... Um, or production to um, to satisfy a larger um, a larger setup, you know. It's just a problem. So we're going to start out small and work ourselves uh, up to larger um, projects, as usual. So there we are. Finally, some real miners. So um, most of this uh, installation here will. Uh, return in a moment so in the meantime I'm going to uh, transform these um, these burner miners into something more useful there we go toss a few motors in there toss a few pieces of copper cable in there and at least we're pre-crafting a few uh, iron a few electric motors now automatically all right wonderful so uh we're going to uh suffer a while here so just saying this because this uh this patch is very oddly uh shaped and not really uh a pleasure to work with but oh well. we're gonna get there all right so first up power up the miners there we go then I'd say I'll be leading the the ore the ore at into this direction. So uh, let's chop up some more of those trees. Luckily, I am cre I improved my uh, my tools in the time between. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be a very very simple thing. Um, let's see. I could also uh, manage via ingredient output. So I have. Uh, three units of iron ore per second so I can satisfy up to five furnaces. I really like this uh, um, this feature of hell mod as well because uh, this uh, does make things a bit easier you know. Okay so let's uh, see I'm going to need only one miner for coals here so Still gonna uh, use two of them because I'm just like that. And uh, next up, we're going to whip up a few motors and such. And uh, yeah, let's create a ton of belts because we uh, definitely need them. 
apart from that, let's copy those recipes here and uh, let's just uh, hope that we're gonna get there in time. Okay, a um, little bit of power here. Okay, almost there. I'm gonna chop some more trees in between because they're all in my way here. So this uh, position here will be uh, providing me a lot of stone even after the starter base is uh, no longer a thing, I'd, I'd say. So there we go. And that's going to be the output for those bad boys. All right, so... Here. Don't uh, I don't have any more materials for inserters, so I'm going to grab those materials right away. Okay, at least iron plates are being finished, you know? Cherish those little things in life. Oh man, that pre-production is taking forever. We're uh, going to need uh, a lot of uh, work here to to make this all work for me. Okay, but at least I'm now stockpiling a few of those uh, iron plates. I'm quite happy about that. Um, well, we're gonna need much more than that. <laughs> but uh, one thing at a time. Um, now then, let's... Uh, see am i already able to produce a real automation no so i'd say this is going to be my next big project proper automation you know so uh, we're lacking wood here so there we go and a few copper plates I'd say we're now um, at a point where I won't be needing uh, that many um, producers for uh, tech cards anymore. I'd say one producer per uh, tech card is now enough. It's also going to be way easier to uh, restock them with materials this way. I could also start and automate the um, production now. Like uh, bring uh, inserters between those machines, but uh, not quite, but soon. Okay, I'm not quite there yet. So, there we go. Wait a sec, I got so many of those uh, red cards at this point. Oh my gosh. Way too many, if you ask me. So I'm researching now proper automation because I want to uh, get rid of those burner machines because I feel like they are pretty inferior. And, uh, well... They are actually pretty inferior. <laughs> okay, so uh, next step is going to be that copper mining. Gonna uh, do the same thing here. Six miners will uh, satisfy um, five uh, furnaces, just like we had it uh, up there. Just want to reproduce the same uh, sort of uh, machinery here. Okay, there we go. So, sadly, these uh, um, machines right now will be still um, will be still uh, hand fueled by me, which is a little bit uh, old school, but well, you know. So, there we go, a few more inserters, and then let's get back home here. At least um, we're, we're starting to gain speed. Those uh, things are starting to interact with, with each other, and uh, we slowly get in there, you know? Let's uh, connect them with power. And once uh, the uh, energy-based automation is a thing, we're we're uh, going to be a lot. Uh, we're going to have a lot of a uh, well, a lot easier time. 
so um, well, let's, let's do it like that. Quite similar construction here. Okay, next step, whipping up some power for the inserters. All right, at least uh, a few things are uh, partially automated now. So let's uh, connect them up with uh, lots and lots of coal. And then I'll be automating that part of the process too. So. Ooh, okay, we're, we're going to need a lot more fuel than that. So, um, fuel, that's a good, uh, that's a good, uh, um, keyword. So, um, fuel can be, uh, produced in this mod, or much more, um, refined in the, uh, space exploration mod. So, uh, we, we shouldn't be using, um, pure coal like that, not at all. We should be refining that stuff and uh, use it uh, like that. Am I already able to produce those fuel refineries? Yes, I do. Okay, neat. Um, in between that, more basic tech cards, please. Thank you. Um, these guys... Got enough materials here in between. Automation cores. All right. Gosh, those materials. We're needing so many materials, it's insane. Like, uh, seriously. Okay, now then. Uh, yeah, I knew that copper cable was necessary somewhere else too. So here goes some iron plate, and uh, yeah, turns out those red cards are uh, not nearly as scarce as the brown cards at this point. I uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined that, but uh, well, <laughs> that's okay though. Okay, that mini uh, base here is making me very very happy. Okay. So uh, we put up a few more of those, put in a few more of those. All right, and proper automation is only a, uh, a few steps away from me. Okay. Motor production will be one of the bigger uh, things to do in the next time. Stockpiling those uh, little intermediate products will be very, very important for my uh, for my um, progress here. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering, like, uh, what's uh, what's wrong with this uh, machinery here? Something is wrong. <laughs> so we would be producing a lot quicker. All right, there we go. Good. So, um, these things have been dealt with. Now, to my next problem, and that's, uh, the fuel, um, situation. So, we're going to create a fuel processor first, because, uh, these are just a way to go. Um, so we could just uh, use two inserters for this thing here and then we're gonna be good nice i really do like those uh um fuel uh refiners one of my favorite items in this mod pack there we go um output wise output 1.2 and uh, input? We don't talk about the input? Okay, whatever. Whatever, I don't care. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to use a little splitter 
and then one half of this stuff will be uh, funneled down to uh, the um, copper, and the other half will be funneled down to the uh, iron. There we go. Ah, yeah, of course, unless I run out of uh, materials again. So let's create a few more plates. Uh, belts, I mean. And uh, obviously, I want a uh, machine creating um, gear wheels for me. Because that's definitely one thing um, we're lacking. Give me back my electric pole, you. So those fuel cells will be a uh, thing here. And now, you know, I could just uh, connect these items with each other, but I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so um, there's one thing I didn't uh, pay attention to, and that's, uh, well, I'm going to do this like that because I don't want to uh, hustle around with that because it's such a uh, terribly uh, um, annoying thing to do. I'm going to explain it in a sec. So um, to make this uh, operation work, we're going to need uh, a handful of longhand inserters. And uh, we're going to make the same thing here. So... Um, Furnaces are only being made as uh, in uh, with a little uh, with a little spare um, space between two of those. So here we go, because that makes uh, the power management a lot easier. So long-handed inserters go in here, and now. Um, I will have a really easy time um, powering up those uh, red inserters because it won't be easy to power up those red inserters if you don't have this uh, nice little gap here. Okay, now then, those bad boys got their power. Wonderful. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just leave that last furnace for now. Or do I? Ah. That's good. I'll just install that later. I got a, I got a, I got a good idea how to do that later. So um, yeah, turns out we're going to do this one a little bit strange though. Well, strange-ish. So I'll need uh, four more of those. And now finally, this whole operation here will uh, have its uh, proper power source. So let's uh, strip away that coal because uh, we don't need any uh, we don't need coal any longer. There we go. So <laughs> oh gosh. So there. There we have it. That's all I wanted. So probably want to have more than that. Just want to make sure that these uh, that this uh, fuel refinery doesn't uh, run dry with material to work with. You know, I uh, prefer these slots over spilling. You know. Mm, well, I think there could be even more input into that machine, but whatever. Um, overproducing fuel wise anyways okay so uh, we we have now a small little thing here t-junction pipe are you kidding me nice I wasn't aware of that elbow pipe my god that's useful <laughs> okay we're we're gonna get there um tech cards so uh, red cards are uh, out here copper cable needs to be put in here automation cores need to be put in here 
So, um, yeah, slow but steady progress, I'd say. So, let's uh, re redistribute these. And, uh, meanwhile, I'll drop a few iron gear wheels and such into that machine. And finally, uh, the motor pre production will be uh, a thing, somewhat. <laughs> drop in a few blank tech cards. Let's uh, just keep refining those copper plates, keep refining those iron plates. I don't care. You guys just do what you gotta do. All right, finally, automation is uh, finished. And uh, yeah, I would say the uh, worst part is uh, also over from from this uh, point on. I, I mean, I still have these uh, nasty um, patches here, which uh, well, I need to split them up somehow. I know how this works, but it's... Uh, I did want to have some sort of automation first before I uh, delve into those topics how to um, split the, uh, these patches. Maybe I'm not gonna even split them ever, like, because I'm feeling like, meh, I'm okay with that. So um, let's get rid of those ores and uh, let's, let's do a little planning session here. So I think that we're going to need way more than that to actually finish anything. So first up, we're going to uh, pick up all these uh, machines here and, uh, well, these here as well, because um, it's uh, pretty clear that uh, my actual production doesn't doesn't gonna run over, uh, doesn't won't be running over this. So uh, another thing, we're going to produce yet another uh, fuel um, refinery because uh, I already made my point there and I... Oh, I, I didn't really show it off, I'm sorry. So, um, here, we're going to make it like that. So, uh, a, pro a unit of processed fuel has a uh, fuel value of 10 MJ and uh, coal just has 6 MJ. So it's uh, pretty clear that this stuff is uh, really, really good for your uh, economy, basically. So uh, we're going to try it now like this. Let's see. Um, is there enough power pole for this operation? Yes, there is. Okay, good. So there we go. It doesn't matter that uh, we're now mixing items here because uh, we're we're going to. Uh, use all the uh, the coal sooner or later anyways I mean this whole process uh, this whole factory right now is only using a, a small amount of the uh, produced um, power yet still I feel like let's let's do the most out of our uh, out of our resources you know okay so um since this is now no longer an issue, Yep. Just want to make sure that uh, my copper plate production won't be uh, too small. Okay, but uh, I'm stopping the stockpile now because, um, well, maybe I'll keep stockpiling the iron, but uh, we're reaching the point where I feel like... Uh, I just want to create um, mach machines that uh, do the job for me, you know. That's uh, what this game is all about, after all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to leave this stuff somewhere else. All right, how about that? So. There we go. Um, well, just going to run my uh, operations here through the stone field. I was just uh, considering if I uh, should or shouldn't, but uh, then I was like, uh, by the time that I'll 
uh, be gathering these materials. I th I'm absolutely confident about uh, me being able to um, dismantle that whole factory there. So I won't be needing um, that belt any longer, which is which I'm now uh, letting run through here. So TLDR, we're going to dismantle this uh, whole situation here anyway, so I'm not going to uh, bother um, with too much uh, cleanliness here. But nevertheless, I do want to minimize the amount of uh, spaghetti anyways, which means I'm going to try and keep it somewhat compact. So now, look at that, our first uh, streams of uh, finished um, raw materials are here. So another thing I want to bring up, I want to fuse these belts now. Okay, now I'm able to just amp up my production to uh, whatever uh, levels I might desire. And uh, I am able to build up a few more um, miners just like that. So I'm going to build one more here just to make sure I will have uh, a sufficient amount of power. So I'm going to work from now on with uh, the uh, iron pole, uh, iron electric poles instead of the uh, wooden ones because, uh, well, I'm not sure. I think I will be breeding wood at some point as a uh, as a material to work with, but um, not, I'm not sure how how far away I am from that. Okay, now let's uh, have a look. My future factory will be more or less, well, I can't really tell where it's going to live. So um, since I don't have a clue where my future factory will be, we're going to uh, think about the uh, starter base. And I think uh, I'm going to head over into this area here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, woods, uh, a lot of trees in my way though, or I'm going to well, maybe down there. It's just a uh, question. Of logistics but I think uh, running over here we're yeah that's gonna be okay so next step build real assembling machines get rid of those stupid burner assembly assembling machines and uh, produce real assembling machines cuz uh, I can't stand them anymore meanwhile let's grab up as much iron as I wanna because I can and um, yeah so uh, handcrafting a handful of uh, belts will be the next thing. So with those things in my mind, I will be able to produce um, a little bit of a, a factory that should work out. Um, not producing any uh, bricks so far. So I'd say that's another thing I shall change in the future, but one thing at a time. So I really, really desire um, a few things here. And that's uh, first up some little machinery producing those uh, those really just disgusting uh, small pieces of uh, intermediate gear. <laughs> well, intermediate gear, quite a funny thing to say about gear wheels. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, produce a handful of those and I'm um, going to put them onto a belt for now. Because I do know that uh, those uh, gear wheels will be needed sooner or later. So let's see, is uh, no, one of those uh, inserters is certainly not enough. Okay. I'll uh, let that just uh, run into a chest for now. We're going to uh, disassemble that chest later. And I guess I'm going, I'm even going to uh, put a uh, limit into that. But for now, all of these little things help me so much because I don't need to uh, hand produce those things anymore. So uh, next step, we're going to create a uh, nifty little uh, other machine, which will create motors for me. So there we go. Just uh, the uh, utmost basics, and then I'm going to say goodbye already because it's uh, about time, my friends. 
so uh, the process is going to be quite visible and quite easily uh, understandable. I'm going to grab a few iron plates from here, a few iron gear wheels from there, and uh, then the uh, motor production is at least already running because I really, I really hate the um, to handcraft all these things, you know. This way, I'll even I'll at least be able to uh, to grab a few things for myself. So uh, let's see. Next episode, we're going to set up the uh, the the rest of these uh, small jobs. I'd say because uh, overall, this will help me a lot. Also, we're going to set up more and more of the uh, miners here to uh, um, exploit this patch here as good as I can. Yeah. So. Um, it's going to be it. Sad. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, friends. And I'm uh, going to see you in the next episode. Drop me a comment down below. Leave me a like. Leave me a subscribe. I'd be super happy if you do. See you then. Goodbye.